before you follow this video, please download all of the plugins and I will show you where to import them in your game. Or in SketchUp. So, first of all, you just find SketchUp where you put it. So, down here, I'm just going to search SketchUp. And then here it is. I'm going to right click and then open file location. <clears throat> and then this is in it. Um, find it again. Google SketchUp and right click open file location <coughs> now you should get something that looks like this if not then you did something wrong and then go to plugins and this is where you are going to install everything that you that I'm giving you in the uh, description box so here you go and that's where you go let's go on to the tutorial Hey everybody, this is Kesar, and today I'll be showing you how to create your own custom scenery for Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. So first of all, I'll post all of the links in the description, and once you have everything, um, open up SketchUp. <coughs> okay, okay um, zoom out here, and we're going to go to Plugins, RCT3, Placement, and then Full Tile. And if you have installed all of the plugins correctly, you should have what I just got. You should get this little box. Okay, now select the rectangle tool and just make it like that. And then come over here for the push and pull. And then pull it up just a bit. And then it doesn't matter how far. And then press 4M on your computer and then press enter. And it should do that. So. Now that we have that, we're going to go to File, Import, and then um, you can go download textures from the internet. Um, I will post a link in the description of where I get some. And I also make most of mine in GIMP, and I can show you how to do that if you guys request it. So first of all, I'm going to insert the blue texture, I guess. It's just a blue symbol color. And make sure you use as texture. And down here at the bottom, um, where it says files to type, make sure it says JPEG. And then double click on blue texture, and you should get this. And let's see here. Alright, that's about right. Okay, and now we're going to go to the paint bucket right here. And then we're going to scroll up until you find in model. And here is our blue texture that we just used. So, X out of that. And I'll paint all sides that you have, including the bottom. Okay? Now we have our simple cube. It's not very cool at all, but this is just a tutorial to show you how to do it. So come down here to the bottom and click on our mouse pointer. We're going to click on the bottom until you get this blue outline, and we're going to press delete. It deletes the tile that we created for the first step. So now we're going to stay on the little mouse pointer and we're going to select all. And then we're going to make a group and then right click it again. Right click both times to make group and then right click again for entity info. I think I said that right. Okay, now we're going to find what we just used, what texture, and I used the blue texture right here. I'm going to press OK. Now I'm just going to name it Simple Cube. Okay, exit out of that. And now we're almost done with this. So go to plugins, ASC exporter, export, and make sure both of these are ex er, on yes. And if you don't have both of these, then you did something wrong. You probably didn't get the plugin correctly. So then press OK. And then we're going to save it as simple cube. And then save. Now this is OK. This is what you should get if you did it right. Just press OK. All right. Now I can exit out. Save changes to untitled, no. And then here comes our RCT3 importer. We're going to click on our RCT3 importer. And then for our prefix, that's just what your name is. So mine is Keshar. So I'm going to type in Keshar's. And then the theme name is going to be Simple Box. That wasn't distributed or mentioned in all of the other tutorials I have found. And then for a theme type, I'd recommend generic. It's just easier to find. Okay, now we're going to go to create OVO. Okay, now you should get something that looks like this. 
and then we're going to press the plus and then you're going to find out where your blue texture is and right here's mine blue texture and when you save textures like if you use get make sure you save it as a jpeg or it won't insert the texture in your game or in sketchup my bad so okay press okay and then down here we're going to press plus and then now you get this mess right here. Now go to coordinate system and go all the way down to you see left handed Z up. We're going to press that. And then for file, we're going to find out what we just made. Right here it is simple cube. Alright, now this is yellow right here. We want it to be green. Green says that it's okay to do that right there. So for texture, do not click right here click a little below and then you should get this now type in or don't type in find the texture you just used which is blue texture that I did and now it's green you can see that right there now we're done with that so press ok and come over here where it says the LODs press the A and then for name I'm just going to type in simple box again or simple cube ok and then we're going to press create scenery OVL now saving scenery OVL successfully, you should get that if it worked correct. So now you can just exit out. Do you really want to clear the texture, Kashe? Yes. Okay, exit out of that. Don't save. Okay, now we're gonna go t down to icon textures. Now I haven't made an icon for this, but you can if you want. And make sure it's 64 by 64 in resolution. So we're going to add and I'm going to load the texture that I have, and here it is, blue texture. I'm going to press OK, close that, go to Icon References, Auto, OK. So it adds that blue texture again. So X out of that, and go over to Text Strings. This is just what you're going to call it. So Kezhar's Simple Cube. So then press copy so you have it on both name and text, and then press OK. And we're almost done. To so close that, and then click on scenery. Now for add, we're going to have this huge box. So select the OVO that we just created, and here it is, Kezhar Simple Cube. I'm going to open. Okay, location within theme, we're just going to go miscellaneous. So just type in IMS. C for miss, and then for our icon and name string for group, we're just going to disable that. For scenery, type in blue texture, name string, Kesar simple cube. Well, don't type in that, just click on this. And then for our cost, 100, and then negative 1000, so we get rich. And then our scenery type is going to be, let's see. Medium scenery, I guess, and then for our X perimeter, is just type, just go for none. Now for this, just type in zero tab zero tab zero, and then four four four, and then for our size and square is one, and then one. Place flag full tile. Unknown zero unknown one zero unknown one. Now for all of these, you're just gonna go zero. And then disable unknown, you're not going to do anything to that. And for unknown 9, goes to 0 as well. Then press OK. Now you can close out of this, and you should have all of this back again. <coughs> press install. Theme successfully installed, and congratulations, you have your first custom scenery. If you did all of this correctly and it did not show up, then I don't know. You'll have to talk with someone else. So thank you, and I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Bye.